Marley here, and I wanted to record a little preamble that I'm going to stick on the front of each of these videos um, regarding the, the cl different classes and Dark Souls. Uh, so feel free to scrub forward, you know, a couple seconds if, if you've heard this before. In these videos, I am essentially restarting the game over and over again, each time with a different class, so that you can see for yourself uh, what each class has up their sleeve from the beginning. Um, not just their stats, but also starting gear. What do their animations look like? What, you know, what does the weapon do? And just the general feel of, of the class. I'll be making little observations, perhaps throwing in bits of advice, you know, throwing out ideas of how you could build on a class. But the most important thing that I want to get through to anyone within the sound of my voice is when you play a Souls game, please choose what would be most fun for you. Do not let any fandom gatekeepers or well-intentioned advice steer you away from what you think would feel good. What would be the most fun for you. That is the most important thing at the end of the day, is that you pick something that you're going to enjoy trying. So without that out of the way, let us begin. Welcome back guys, welcome to part two of the uh, character builder uh, rambles. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, how, how many classes do we have to get through? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Gotta get through 10. How many faces do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect, we'll just pick one one of each. We'll just go down the list. How's that? Same, same with the hairstyles. Same with the hairstyles. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go shaved. <laughs> Why not? Um, it, it don't, it don't matter. Yeah, she, you know what, Zeke Frow had black hair, so we'll, we'll skip, we'll skip it by, by, uh, doing the shaved head. There we go. I've, I've decided to shorten <laughs> our name to Marl, so that I only have to type a few <laughs> letters every time we redo this, because I'm going to have to redo this every single class that we go through. So we're gonna start, we're just gonna go down the list here. Um, in the previous part, which I, I will link in the description and, and and probably on the outro as well. Um, we talked about uh, the gifts and the uh, facial presets. Um, today we're going to be talking about classes, starting with warrior, fearless warrior, weapon expert, high strength, dexterity. So you get both. Um, I'm also just going to randomly poke around with the physique and, and hairstyles and stuff, but we're gonna pick the pendant for everyone, because, yeah, <laughs> why not? Um, okay, so the warrior starts at level four. As I as I mentioned at the end of the last video, um, all the classes start at a different soul level. Um, part of the reason why uh, people will choose pyromancer, even if they're not particularly interested in pyromancy, is because they start at soul level one. I'll just, yeah, you can see there. It starts at level one, which means you get the most space to build your character how you want them to be, um, which is very helpful uh, because, you know, every soul level you go up, the more souls you need to buff yourself up, right? So they have a fair amount of attunement. Um, you would need to jump two more levels into that to get a slot, though. You need, you need at least 10 to have a slot for... Uh, miracles, sorceries, pyromancies, whatever you want to wield. Um, Vitality is alright, it's average. Um, endurance is good, strength is good, dexterity is good. Um, you'll recall that resistance is useless. <laughs> resistance is futile in this game. Resistance has to do with like your poison resistance, which doesn't, it doesn't really do anything. Like it bare, like the percentage that it goes up is like nothing. Um, don't dump anything into resistance. So you, we can basically ignore the resistance stat going forward. Um, int is nine, faith is nine. Um, most basic spells and miracles are gonna require somewhere from 10 to 12 usually. Um, so not saying you couldn't, you couldn't, uh, you know, get yourself a few, you know, basic, uh, 
uh, spells of some kind if you if you wanted to do that as a warrior. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna accept we're gonna accept this and we're going to have a look here because it seems like uh, the warrior gets to to start with some proper armor and uh, gear here. Here we are. Oh yeah, we look real good. Oh, the, th the knee. The knees. <laughs> As a warrior, you start with the hard leather armor. Uh, 26 physical defense. Um, so, you know, maybe not quite as high as some, some metal plate's gonna get you, but not bad. It's a good starting place. Good starting place. No, no poise. <laughs> no poise off of it, unfortunately. Um, but the weight is, is doable as well. 5.9, that's, that's no big deal. Yeah, look at that endurance. It's good. That's a good starting endurance, man. Get your shield. Yeah, we, we get a shield. We're gonna... We get a heater shield, in fact, which is, is not a terrible starting shield. Uh, do-do. This, it has 100% physical damage reduction. Um, 70% against fire. 50% against lightning. Average to good stability. Actually, I think that stability is on par with some of the the, the knight shields like the the uh, silver and black knight shields i'm going to tell a funny story that one time uh when i was playing this game actually i think it might have been the first time i was playing through as a pyromancer i uh, completely did not pick up my my default weapon it was really funny so we had a long sword this longsword can carry you through the game easily, from what I am told, and uh, I can believe it. Um, as someone who are you serious? As someone who has gone through the entire game with the Baldur Side sword, decent starting uh, stuff all around. We're gonna we're gonna take an R one, R one, R two, E. R2, R2, nice, woo, check that out, let's, let's try to do that towards the camera, R2, 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 R2. nice, R1, R1, R2, I mean, three, three, three swings, starting endurance, that's great, um, let's, you know, here's our parry, shielding, here's our little heater shield, I like the heater shield, it's, it's neat, it's beat up, it's busted. It's seen some things. It's great. Uh, and now let us two hand. Ha ha. Let's see. R1, R1, R2. Cool. What if we just do three R1s? Does it just go down, up, down? Yeah. There's even a pip to roll away. Warrior's great. Okay, let's, uh. Yeah. So you get a you get a down up horizontal essentially out of your starting combo. All right, let's do. Uh, so here's what the guard looks like, and uh, R two R two. Cool. So just two two horizontal swings on the R two R two R two. Nice. So if you want to go. Go big beefies, um, or you, you want to do kind of a quality build where you keep strength and dex around the same. Here you go. Here's here's a great starting point, especially if you know maybe eventually you you might want to throw a few. You might want to get a slot. You might want to get like a spell, a miracle, like a heal or something. This could be a great starting point for you. It's 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 perfectly perfectly nice starting place if you want to go for a big burly beefy character. Like I said, the longsword can carry you through the game. You could you could go greatsword or ultra greatsword. You could go polearm with this class real easily. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot you could do. One or two and these guys are done.
Yeah. Cool. We're not going to be uh, guarding against the sky, so I think... Woohoo! Walked right through that. Oh yeah, look how, look, demon, demon, asylum demon melted with warrior, absolutely melted. Check that out. All right, next up, we've got the knight, low ranking knight, high HP, solid armor, not easily toppled. So we start at, so level five, so one, one, one level up from the warrior. Very high starting vitality at 14. Um, your attunement is at 10, meaning you have one slot. You could uh, already equip yourself a pyromancy, a sorcery, a miracle, um, any of those basic ones. Um, your int's not very high, so it's more likely you're going to be leaning towards miracles. But pyromancies don't require either in this game, obviously, so you, you could go pyromancy. Um, Dex and strength are at 11. Average is fine. Um, endurance is at 10, so not quite as high as the Warriors, um, but uh, if, you, I, I, if you're deaf, this would definitely be a good, like, I feel like the Warrior, you could go sword and boarding, but you could also just go, um, you know, rolling through, uh, whereas Knight would be definite, like, seems like you're gonna be possibly even great shielding it on your sword and boarding. Um, I'm just throwing, these are all just ideas. Do you have to do it that way? No, I'm, I'm just throwing out ideas for what you could do with these starting classes. So let's 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 jump in um, as a knight. We'll, we'll just have a look at the armor. Let's have a look at the knight armor. Um, 37 physical defense, your poise is 20. That's nice. Obviously this is going to be a little bit beefier than the uh, hard leather armor that the warrior wears, but it's also a bit weightier. Um, I mean, Let's just, oh yeah, no, you start with thick roll. <laughs> I, my, my controller is vibrating. That is thick roll. This is uh, not, this is a class that like, if you wanted to just go straight into turtling, you could. You can see the difference in the run right away. Well, I like how the uh, knight still has, has so many like pouches and, things on their person. It's, it's great. I appreciate those little details. Ooh, we get the tower kite shield. Tower kite shield. Let's have a look at that. 100% physical damage resistance, much like the heater shield. Um, it seems like, I think it's about the same as the heater shield, actually, with the exception that its stability is a bit higher. Um, yeah, these these numbers look very similar to the heater shield, um, but the stability is higher, which makes sense because this is a character that, by default, is not a roller. They're a tur more of a turtle. Just be you, thick roll is is completely doable, guys. If you have a roll, you you can you can move through. Uh, enemy animation. So we start with the broadsword instead of the longsword, um, which uh, I'll just say right now is the same sword that the knight starts with in Dark Souls 2. That this class persists, although it's a bit different uh, in appearance. So yeah. Okay, let's let's give ourselves some swings. So there's our parry. Uh, all right, so it's all horizontals. R one, R one, R two. All horizontals with the broadsword. Let's try R two, R two. Ooh, I like the sound. I I I, I really like all the little sound effects. It's great. Let's do that. Let's do that towards the camera. A little bit more towards the camera. R1, R1, R2. 
R2, R2. You still get it. We still have a pip. We've got enough endurance um, to roll if we do a two. One, two, three. Yeah, we still have a pip. So our endurance is still uh, good enough that we can uh, we'll still get a roll off the end, like the warrior can. All right, it's two hand this. R1, R1, R2. Nice. Oh, the way that you step forward, that's really cool. R2, R2. Yeah. Broadsword is all about the horizontal swings um, and diagonals. So we're, uh, we get some diagonals with the two-handing and then we go horizontal. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> the horizontal swing is not as great, but we just... Oh, one R2 and these guys did not get done. I, maybe because of, I don't know if it was because of distance or because I was hitting two of them at once, but uh, I'm gonna try. Yeah, no, these guys are a little bit tougher than their buddy inside. Um, so the broadsword has a little less raw damage compared with the uh, longsword, seems like. Or that may also have to do with uh, the fact that our strength and dex are at 11 and not 13. All right. There we go. Get that initial chunk off of him. Alright, we are a blocker. Haha! <laughs> Love the backflip. It's it never gets old. Thick roll, but it gets us in. He's not melting as fast, but again, I think that has to do with stats. Whoop, back it up. Butt stomp. Butt stomp incoming. Woo! Got me, got me, got me that time. There we go. And done. So not quite as swift, but uh, as the warrior. But good for those who would rather 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 turtle up. It's also worth noting that we start in the way of White Covenant. I totally forgot about that. You you you're just already in the way of White as a knight, huh? Which is probably why your faith is a bit higher, so that you you're at uh, in reach of those lower level miracles. Um, you don't start with any, obviously, because you're not a cleric, but you could you could learn some. Huh, interesting. Now, I believe, let's say you wanted to start as a knight. I think if you just take one or two items off. Still got thick roll. How about take our helmet off? Yeah. Take off your helmet and your gauntlets, and you can get a medium roll. Yeah. Um, they definitely have the highest starting vitality, the knights do. Um, so if you're going for a big tank, knight can be a great way to go. Especially if you're going to be turtling up with behind a great shield. Onward to Wanderer. The first time I beat Dark Souls, I was playing as Wanderer. They, uh, <laughs> aimless Wanderer wields a scimitar, high dexterity. And now you all know why I picked it. <laughs> Because I always, I always roll agility. I always roll dex. That's that's my thing. That's always my favorite. That's the staff stat I want to pump. It starts at soul level three, so it's one of the lowest um, of the bunch. Top three lowest, uh, I would say. But pyromancer, I think it's cleric, cleric and wanderer start at the lowest soul levels. Um, vit is kind of average. It's just ten. Uh, attunement is eleven. So you start with a slot, and if you pump like one more level, um, you could have two. Um, Wanderer can be good if you want to have some sorceries or pyromancies on the side. Uh, endurance and strength are kind of average, like Vit. Like, they're not too high. Um, but the dex is super high. <laughs> 14. And I know resistance is futile and all, but you start with 12, so you know, hey, 
looks nice on paper at least, so to speak. You're in set 11, meaning, yeah, again, sorceries, you'd only need to pump it maybe one more time to, uh, to, to get some of those uh, low-level sorceries going for you. Um, Faith's not really high enough to do anything with uh, right off the bat, but you, you could if you wanted to. You know, you wouldn't have to pump it too much, but this is, this is definitely more like... Uh, you want a high dexterity character that maybe just goes with dex weapons, or maybe you want to, you know, wield some some spells on the side. So this is definitely your traveler, drifter, ranger type. Um, you've got a bit of fur around the collar. You're ragged around the edges. You've probably stitched up your own garments a few times. You know, it's, uh, yeah, you're, you're a tough drifter, essentially. We got super high deck, so we have fast roll, super ultra fast roll, right from the get-go. Super fast run, and our endurance is, endurance is just good enough, just good enough that, uh, we, we don't worry too much about uh, giving a sprint. I have a big soft spot for the Wanderer, just because, yeah, that was my... My first run through the game, my first full, complete run through the game. Alright, so the Wanderer does start with a shield. They start with the leather shield. Um, let's have a look at their armor and shield. So they start with the Wanderer coat. Um, no poise, much like uh, the hard leather set, but uh, 23 physical defense, which is only a few pips lower than the hard leather armor. It's not too bad. And the weight is only 3.5. It's quite light. Um, pretty good. And honestly, your magic, fire, and lightning defense ain't too shabby, considering that, you know, you're just kind of wearing a coat. Um, and let's have a look-see here at our leather shield. Uh, only 85% physical damage reduction. Only 85. The other numbers are lower as well. Only 35 against magic, 60 against fire. Um, I think slightly higher against lightning, though. I think the others had 50. The heater um, and the tower kite uh, that the knight and the warrior had, and this is 60. Stability is only 45. Um, this is definitely a, more of a parrying type shield. It's smaller, a um, bit bigger than a buckler, obviously, but uh, it, it, it's, it's not useless. But uh, we're going to try to dodge instead of just taking the hits here. Alright, and as the description said, we start with a scimitar, which is super fun. Super fun starting weapon. Time to have some fun with this. The scimitar is super fun. R1, R1, R2. Yeah! <laughs> it's so cool. I dance between the blades. Look at me go. Alright, okay, here we go. R1, R1, R2. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. All right, let's do R2. R2. Okay. R2. R2. There we go. Get a little spin and jump. And now full two-handing. R1. R1. R2. Yeah, you always, that R2 is always going to give you a little, a little twirl, and it is great. I love it very much. R1. R1. So good. But you will notice that our endurance being only at 10, if we do that full combo, we do not get a roll off of it. We have we don't get a pip. So we have to be careful. R2, R2, yeah. There is not yeah, we don't even have a pip. We have to like wait for our stamina to come back. So you definitely, because you are such a speedy little roller, <laughs> it is a very good idea to pump your endurance as a wanderer. It will help you out quite a bit. Our, our dex is, this is, all right, hang on. Let's look at the scimitar for just a second. It scales B. I thought I had just enough time. My B. All right, let's look at this scimitar really quick. So it scales B with dex. That's great for a starting weapon. Um, and our decks being 14, yeah, an R2 absolutely one-shots this guy, these guys. Um, 
And as long as you can interrupt their attack, you'll be good to go. Um, great starting class for uh, anyone who wants to go hot, heavy on the decks and maybe isn't as into a dagger as a starting weapon. Uh, cough, thief, cough. I, I think that, that honestly, that was part of my reason for choosing the Wanderer. Um, other than I just, I just like their appearance. I think they're cool looking. Um, I wanted a dex-oriented character that didn't start with a dagger because I was new to Dark Souls and I was very frightened at the prospect of being that close to the enemies <laughs> to to stab at them. So you know, <laughs> you know, full full disclosure. There we go. Oh. Right. oh, 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 butt stomp, butt stomp. Gotta roll through things. Gotta remember how to roll through things. Stomp, back it up. Oop, whiffed. There we go. Now, obviously, this swing, swing, if you were doing like PvP, you could be leaving yourself open for some, some, some. I'm getting smacked out of it. <laughs> getting smacked out. You're, you're asking to get smacked out of your animation. Um, e even in PvE, but especially in PvP, because you'd be up against other people who would know. Um, but, yeah. Everything is with these. You can see the different way that the Wanderer comes in with the curved blade. Their horizontal swings have that slightly different animation to them, because you're dealing with a, with a curved blade. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I got a big soft spot for Wanderers. I admit it. Freely. They're like, they're my favorite after Pyromancers. Straight up. I like them a lot. But you know me and my, my roguish tendencies. <laughs> Time for the thief. Guilt ridden thief. High critical hits. Has master key. From the beginning, you don't have to choose it as a gift, you just have it. Um. Got, got our dagger. Although, frankly, that is a big dagger. It's more like a short sword. Oh my gosh. Uh, got a buckler or something. Some buckler of some kind. I, I always forget that you actually get that as a, as a thief. Um, so, thieves start at level 5. So, level 5. Um, their wit is a bit low. Um, their attunement is high enough that if you wanted to to slap on a spell or so, um, you could do that, because your int is already at 12, and your faith is 11, weirdly enough. Um, so yeah, you could easily, you know, sling a basic something-something, um, and another attunement slot would get you two. Uh, another attunement level would get you two slots, that's what I mean. Um, your endurance is also not great, um, and your strength is real low. Even higher decks than the Wanderer, though, by one point. Uh, I, I still, I still vouch more for the Wanderer for a a dex high run, just because you know your 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 endurance and your vitality start slightly higher. Um, and you have a few more levels to work with, but you know, if you want to start with the master key and you don't want to choose it as your gift, you want something else as your gift, you know, on top of having the master key, then this would be, you know, a, a, an okay starting point. Um, they start with the black leather armor, um, which is a set that you get down the end of Berg. Um, Ziegfrau wore the thief mask a bit in our LP, especially towards the end there. Um, we were we were rocking a thief mask. Uh, so let's let's uh, let's dive in. Interrupting my own thought here, but obviously we start with fast roll. Um, but our endurance isn't great. We don't. We only get. Okay, we get three, which I think is how much the wanderer got. But yeah, we'll 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 see how this goes with our swings. Um, 
the the thought I was having before was that I think the only game that I have ever actually done a full run as like a super like skinny twig um, was Bloodborne because I, I made one of my tabletop characters as like my main my main girl. We got a spiffy little capelet over us. I think it's interesting that it specifies that we are guilt ridden. Like we uh, we maybe we maybe done some some things we not so proud of in our thieving days. Aha, the target shield. Target shield, target shield. All right, let's 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 have a look. Uh, 78 physical damage reduction. This is definitely a parrying shield. This is for the big parries. Um, only 30% magic damage, even lower than the leather shield. 65 fire, 50 lightning, that's not so bad. 45 stability, could be worse. Um, and uh, let's have a look at this black leather armor. Uh, 23 physical defense, which I believe is the same as the Wanderer coat, um, but I, we don't have as much defense against like magic, fire, and lightning. Zero poise, of course, um, but the weight is slightly less than the Wanderer coat. Oh my gosh, we're such a string bean. Bandit's knife! So... This is a pretty good dagger, as I recall. I think it's interesting that it's the bandit's knife, but we're not a bandit. Bandit is a class. All right. Very high critical hit rate. High critical hits meaning, you know, the backstabs and the parries. All right, let's see what we got here. R1, R1, R2. Yeah, this is definitely... Get lots of lots of little little swift swingy swings. You fast, but your endurance is low. One, two, three. But you know, because the weapon does not take as much to swing, the lower endurance is not so punishing. You can still totally get a roll off of that. One, two, three, roll. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Let's see. One, two. Three. Roll. Yeah, not only enough for one roll, but that's enough to get you out of danger, theoretically. Alright, let's try an R2. R2, just big horizontal swipes. Alright, <laughs> like my sound effects. Whatcha? <laughs> Alright, here we go. R1, R1, R2. Okay. So, smaller, smaller, let's see, R1, R1, R2, and, ah, but if you're two-handing, you cannot get a roll. Got it. Do not have enough pips. Um, let's try R2, R2. Ooh, okay, okay, so if you're gonna two-hand, you might as well only do the R2s, because then you have enough of a pip to roll. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I, I have not, I have a thief run that I started, but I never finished. Honestly, so I have forgotten <laughs> how how thief works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to learn how to parry, this could be a good character. Um, I would say Dark Souls. I, you know, I was able to parry a little bit in Dark Souls Three, and I can occasionally parry in Dark Souls One. But I've just never. Every game has a different timing on it, and I've just never gotten that good at it. If you can get good at parries. So you can trivialize some fights, including boss fights, even, um, especially Dark Souls 3, uh, specifically in Dark Souls 3. There we go. Got it. Oh, terrible camera angle, but got the parry. <laughs> I'm always, I don't, th we have really high decks, and I want to know if, no, no. Oh, it's a three swing, even with our super high decks. There we go. That's a better angle on the parry. The parry is really cool that you are you're like you're putting your boot into their face and shoving them away. It's great. Bandit knife. Well, it skills B with Dex. So, but I it, it is not as big of a sword as the scimitar. So, you know. Full disclosure, I'm redoing this boss fight because I I did a big <laughs> I did a big weird goof thing and um, ended up making the thief just look like a total like useless. Uh, oh, hello. 
uh, class, so. E, look at that extra damage from two-handing. Uh. We're gonna say in his butt. Look at that damage, though. It's good, good dex damage. All right. So, as you can see, the thief's there we go. The thief's strength is its speed. So if you can get in a safe range, and like I said, if you're good at the parries, if you're against an enemy that you're going to be parrying, go 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 for it. Do that. But chances are, this is a class with that you are just going to throw, throw the throw away your shield and just roll, roll, roll. That is what the thief uh, excels at, so pump that endurance and go for it. That'll do it for this part of the Dark Souls classes videos. Uh, take care of yourselves, I will see you all again next time.